GCSE Maths Grade 9 Exponential Growth Finding the Growth Rate in Just Two Minutes. Let's go. A lot of writing on this one, guys. Let's have a look. It says the number of bacteria in a Petri dish grows exponentially. There were initially 500 bacteria in the dish, and after five hours, there were 121,500. Calculate the growth rate per hour as a percentage. Now, it says that it grows exponentially, so we're thinking of our compound interest formula. What does our compound interest formula tell us? Well, it tells us that the amount at the end of the time is equal to the initial amount multiplied by one plus the growth rate as a percentage to the power of t where t is the number of time periods. Normally a question will give us this information and ask us to work out the end amount but we can see that this one tells us the end amount 121,500 and asks us to work out all the growth rate. What we're going to do is we're going to substitute in what we know and then rearrange it to find the value of r. So what can we say? The end amount is 121,500. That's going to be equal to the initial amount, which was 500 bacteria. So we have 500 multiplied by 1 plus r, the growth rate, as a decimal to the power of t, the number of time periods. Here we have 5 hours, so our number of time periods is 5. Now we have an equation to rearrange to find the value of r. First step, let's divide both sides by 500, moving this one over. 121,000. 500 divided by 500 is going to be 243. That's going to be equal to 1 plus r to the power of 5. Now we can take the fifth root of both sides to move this power of 5 to the other side. The fifth root of 243 is going to be 3. So we have 3 equals 1 plus r. Now, guys, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides to find the value of r. We get r equals 2. But... The question asks us to give our answer as a percentage, and at the moment, this is actually a decimal because remember, this formula has R as a decimal, so we need to multiply this by 100 to go from a decimal to a percentage. We're gonna do two times by 100. That's gonna give us our final answer, guys, of 200% per hour. 